So uh, it looks like reality star Melody Holt is channeling her inner left eye. Melody and her ex-husband Martel Holt were involved in a domestic dispute. The incident escalated to her dousing his house with charcoal lighter fluid. Take a look. Call them and get my money. Move back to the account. No, it's not, it's not our money. Thank it's split 50 50 like it's supposed to be. We just split the hundred and fifty thousand dollars 50 50. <gasps> what? what? I'm gonna say all right y'all what do you think about this and do you think it's reality tv paid a played a part in them being toxic to each other al what do you think about this story i think i think reality tv definitely magnified it for sure and you know this it, it does in everybody that i've ever seen participate in reality tv it just becomes a part of their dna and how they manage conflict how they respond to bad stuff. You know, it, it, it becomes a part of them. Now, this right here was interesting to me because I gotta be honest, I always thought that Martel was the one that was the troublemaker. I always thought that Martel was the one that was the abuser. This was this was very eye-opening for me to see her in her true behavior that he has always talked about. I wish that he had leaked this video back when they were going through their divorce because that way we would know that this is an even playing field. I feel like both of them are abusers at this point. And who goes through someone's house with lighter fluid and ruin their furniture and, 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 and the possibility of burning down their house? That's very toxic. And that didn't just happen overnight. Okay, Maddie, what are your thoughts on this? Don't do it, Miss Seeley. Don't do it. Don't trade places with Miss Sophia. Don't trade places with her. This is my thing right here, okay? Women, men are not worth it. Money is not worth it. Girl, you are on national TV or national internet, honey, about to burn this man's house to the ground. You are a public figure. You can't let them get you to those places like that, girl, where you risk your freedom. You risk your sanity, girl. Listen, lawyer up. Lawyer up. So this is the thing that, again, how we discussed earlier about not having the full, the full story and reacting to what we saw. Of course, on its own, this looks horrible. I could not defend, like, if she was really ready um, to light this house on fire. But I have been in similar situations. So um, Melody and I did a movie together. And we got to talking about a, a bunch of things. And I really like her. She is someone that definitely has been a victim of narcissistic abuse for many years. And if you've ever been with someone that has that's a narcissist and they know how to push your buttons, and then they go grab the camera and then record your reaction. So in mm -hmm. this particular case, um, how would y'all feel if y'all had a joint account with your mate and they took 100% of the money and didn't leave your, your half? This is why, why you don't do that. Yeah, so they were married, right? So they had an account mm -hmm. and I did ask her permission if I could talk about this, because we did talk about this a while ago. They had... $37,000 in this one account, right? He mm -hmm. took hers and his. She's asking the video, just give me back my half. So that's what was happening there. And then, you know, the person that's recording will say things, trigger you, and then record you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the light of fluid, it looks horrible. I, I Listen, I can't defend that. It looks horrible, but I do understand. I had a guy that borrowed money and then spent it on a hooker. And I was like, I wish I would have had some life. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, you're right, Maddie. Both of you are right. Um, you know, she has a lot to lose now. But I understand. And I think that's why she has zero connection with him. Like she's like had to cut it off. And she probably said thinks you bring out the worst in me when I'm around you. And I don't like myself around you because I'm sure she's embarrassed about that. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Dana said true behavior, reactive behavior after years of treating her like garbage. And H. Nessa said Martel is a toxic one and a gaslighter. No pun. And Logan said it's often that a victim becomes the abuser as a defense mechanism. And Erica Carr said the same thing. He took her money. Mm. They need to just be away from each other 100%. Yes. I think. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Don't you think? Okay.